Hi, it's Nina at How I Started a Business with No Idea and personalised tutusaustralia.com.au. Uh, I have finally bitten the bullet and bought the AVS video editor. I think this is going to be the most simple um, editing, video editing software that I can purchase. Uh, it's pretty cheap, it's $59 US, so I'm hoping it's going to do everything that I need it to do. Um, I played around with it for the last two days and I'm fairly confident that I can make a very basic slideshow uh, video. So that's going to be the very first thing that I do and I show you today. So let's quickly get started. To begin with, all I've done is double clicked and opened this program and straight away it's come up asking me what I want to do. So I'm going to close this. Um, but basically you can import your media files. You can capture from a camera which includes your webcam. Um, or you can do a screen capture. Now I'm currently using Snagit um, as my screen capture because that's the software that I use and I like. I did try to use the software for ABS why I did this, but I couldn't quite have the two programs running at the same time. So Snagit is my software choice and if anyone else has um, actually used the screen capture, I'd love to hear it. So simply just moving along and to begin with, I just need to import my files. Now because this is going to be a slideshow video, they're simply images. They're images that I've made in canva.com um, and I'm going to put them together to kind of make a little storyboard. So I'm just going to click here on import media files and then I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me upload all of these pictures and I'll come back from there. Okay, so I have just um, uploaded all of my images. If you look in the left hand side, you'll see them here. I'm just quickly going to close this window. It's just to help um, some helpful tutorials. So I'm just going to click on there and, and close that. But firstly, before I do that, it does ask whether or not you want to set the project's aspect ratio according to the aspect ratio of the first file. And in this instance, I'm going to say yes. So once I've done that, and then I'm going to close my media thing up here, the help file. You'll see that down the bottom, it's actually put all of my images down here into a storyboard uh, file or format, whatever you want to call it. If you look where I'm circling over here, um, there are two ways to look at this timeline. There is this way, which is called the timeline. And if I click it again, there is a storyboard. Right now I'm going to work in the storyboard because that's the easiest thing to do. So what I've uploaded here are simply images. You'll see purple ones. All I've done is I've gone and made these in canva.com. They're really simple, nice and straightforward. And all I'm really wanting this video to do is to tell the story. As you can see, as I'm flicking through them though, they're not in order. So we need to put this story into the right way. Now, previously when I'd made this video, I had a different image for the first one. But what I found was once the video finished, it finished on the first image. And in this instance, I want people to see the last image as the first image, if that makes sense. So I'm actually going to use the same picture for the first picture and the end picture. And that's this one here. So if you can see what I'm doing down here, if you look where I'm circling on the left, I'm simply clicking and holding this image here. And I'm going to click, hold and drag into the other one. So these are all different files as they go along. Um, and once I've done that, now I'm going to just simply continue this process. One thing you will notice though, as you click and drag them across, um, where the cursor is, there's a little box and you need that box to be on the image, otherwise you won't put it in the right spot. So I'm just going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me drag all of these into order and, um, and I'll come back and I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Okie dokie, so I have just put all of my images into the order that I want them and I'm just going to flick through them quickly so you can see how they are. They just kind of plot along and tell a bit of a story. Oh goodness, there's my baby Ali waking up in the middle of the night. Two seconds. Oops, is he going to go back to sleep? Yep, 
I had made a storyboard. So all of these images were hoping to tell a very quick story. And you'll notice that I had one purple one and then a coloured one. One purple one, one coloured one, one purple and a coloured one. Now what I want to do is I want to put some music to this. So to do that, I'm going to change from over here where I'm circling. And instead of being in the storyboard, now I'm going to click and I'm going to put that into the timeline. Now, these are all of our images here. Now we can change these if we want them to go faster or slower. But for now, I'm just going to put the music in and then we're going to see how quickly they change and if we want to slow them down or not. Now to bring in the music, it's exactly the same as bringing in a picture. I simply click on import, um, type in the uh, song. This one is from Scott Holmes, the Happy Go Lucky song. And I'm just going to open that up. And then exactly the same as if we were bringing in an image, um, I'm just going to simply hold this down, click it and drag it down to where the music file is. So you see the little music note? And I'm going to put it all the way to the end because I actually want this song to start at the very beginning. Now you'll also see that this file, this line here, goes past the end of where I wanted it to, uh, where I wanted my slideshow video to end. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to drag it back a little bit. Now I'm not too good at this, so just bear with me a little. I actually want it to end at this slide here. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Now the other thing that I haven't done is I haven't put any transitions in. So that means that when the um, slides play, there's nothing to, hmm, I don't really know how to explain a, a transition like fade in or fade out. So we probably want to do that as well actually before I put the music in. So I'm going to click back onto the storyboard and see these little arrows here? This is where we can put our transitions. There's lots of little arrows from one image to the next to the next. So to put them in, you simply click on the transition here. I'm clicking on the transition and you choose the one that you want. There's all kinds. So you can have the burning or the burning fire, color. I'm going to use the flashlight, this one, which is the image that changes and goes into a lighter color. And then right at the end, I'm going to use a twirly one. Now, the same as everything else, it's pretty much just a drag and drop. You just hold it down and once again you wait until you, your cursor with the little box ends in the arrow and you let go. And you'll see that we have one in there. We'll do the next one. Simply drag and drop it. And again. And again. Oops. And we just go along until all of these are done. It's not very long, it's probably only about 30 seconds, um, but I'll still pause it anyway just so that you don't have to watch the whole thing. So, two seconds. Okay, so I have put in my transitions here. You'll see the little arrows have changed to that light A colour, which is this one here, which is letting us know which transition we've used. These last ones at the end here, I'm just going to put this twirl in, this clockwise twirl. And this one I'm actually going to put the fade out to the black. So it's called the flash dark, but the other ones were light. This one's going to be dark. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And you'll see now that all of those little arrows have been filled in with a transition. As we're scrolling along, looking at our storyboard. Now I'm going to go back to our timeline and see how our music is. I might just delete the whole thing there. Um, I wonder if I can delete that whole thing. No, I probably can't. Oh, now I've just made a big mess of that, haven't I? Have no idea. You can see that to delete, I'm simply right clicking and deleting it. Actually, because I've gone and put in all those transitions, it's made the, um, the music into individual clips, and that's really not what I want at all. I want the whole song to be a smooth uh, transition make sure everything flows and that it sounds like it's all meant to work together. So I'm just going to simply quickly delete all these and then I'm going to re-put that file back in there just simply by dragging it and dropping it like we did last time. Nearly done. So once again to get the music I'm going here where it says media library and I'm clicking on that media library 
um, taking my music, holding it down to the drag and drop, looking for the music note, and there we have it, sliding it to the end. Remembering once again that uh, this music clip is actually too long for the images that I have. I really wanted to try and keep my slideshow video to under a minute because I think after that everyone would be a bit bored. So I'm just going to slide this down and we're going to stop it here. Now the other thing that I want this music to do is I want it to fade out so that at the end of the song it kind of you know gets a bit softer. Now to do that, we simply, where we are on the music line down here, we're simply just going to right click it and I'm going to put fade out. And you'll notice that little red line now has just dropped to the down. So that's it. Now we're going to put it all together and see how it goes. So this goes for about a minute guys. Um, so I hope it's not too long, but you can have a watch and see what we've done. So just quickly recap before we begin, let's have a quick look in the storyboard. We put our images down here, just separate pictures that I had made um, in Canva. Uh, just to tell a little bit of a story, I alternated them between a colour and just um, a normal image. Okay, so that was the end of my slideshow. Um, I just thought I would mention here too, where I'm circling up here, where this screen is black, if you have purchased the AVS editor, this is where you'll actually see your video clip um, and see your images. It won't let me record it on screen capture, obviously, because then if you did that, then you wouldn't have to purchase the um, full version software. Uh, I didn't actually realise that until I went back and looked at it. So uh, just a, a reminder there, this black screen here will actually show your work when you're actually in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching and learning how to make your own slideshow. It's really not that hard at all. Um, next up, um, I'm going to show you how I actually put the two of these clips together. Um, quite straightforward and simple, pretty much exactly the same way. All I did was here, I had my uh, video that I had saved and the slideshow one, um, and I popped them in down the bottom here. But I'll show you that properly in the next video. Anyway, I hope this helped you. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I better tell you how to produce it. Um, to actually produce this video, I went and there's a produce button right here. So I simply clicked on that. And from there, you'll see that it will bring up um, a few different file formats that you can save in. You can either save it as just a regular file to a disk, a device or the web. I always choose file, so simply click on there and and click next. Um, from there I saved it into an mp4 file, click next again, um, play a sound to tell me once it's all done um, and also here this is where you would title it, the name um, and the folder that it goes into and from there click create. Nice and simple, easy to do. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I'm going to put um, a little bit more in once I'm done. Anyway, I hope that helps you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.